Hello, in this video we will show you how to create a Firebase project together with all the necessary things like the real-time database and the Firestore plus the Fire Storage. Uh, so we will create by creating a new project. So I will call it my new project. And phase, uh, Firebase will automatically assign a project ID for you which you can change. And after you accept you are able to create the project also you can change the location of the server but for now let's remain the same and we can create the project so Firebase will create the project for you but know that uh, creating a project does not initialize your Firebase and Firest Firebase real-time database and your Firestore database so we will need to do that manually after we clicked on that project, we are able to go in databases. And here you will see that we, since we don't have a database for now, we are able to create one. So first let's create the real-time database. And let's start in test mode. And this will create the real-time database. Then once again, if we go to databases, we are able to create the cloud Firestore database which now by default is the default database we also will should start in test mode since in lock in mode nobody can read and write the data and after creating the cloud Firestore we are done with the databases so our database are initialized and we are able to add data there. Next, uh, we're, we should enable storage and we should click on get started. But, uh, by default, the storage rules are correct since it allows all reads and writes. So uh, it allows read and write if only is authenticated. So that should be fine. So we have our storage and database enabled. All we need now is the authentication. And for now we, we need an email and password enabled. And it should be like this. And then we should create at least one user. For example, daniel at mobidonia.com. And uh, enter a password. So these are all the things needed in order to initialize your uh, Firebase project. Uh, next, you need to connect to your uh, uh, how do I say backend or mobile app. And to do that, you will not need to go in uh, here in project settings and then click on the uh, web add to web uh, option. And you should copy this config value but that will be uh, explained in another video thanks for watching